Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to be looking at starring messages, what it means, what it allows you to do, and how you can use this to up your productivity. So let's just jump into Gmail. Now here I have a demo account ready, it's open, and I have a number of emails that have come in. Now the first thing you'll notice is as I hover over these emails, here on the left hand side we have those stars. Now whenever you click on one of these stars, this email is now added into your starred folder. This could be considered a temporary label. So you're attaching that star label to this message. Doesn't mean the message is opened, it doesn't mean that this is now marked as red, but it does give it that extra label. This is a temporary label because as soon as you click it another time, this is now no longer attached to this message. So let's go ahead and star a message and let's see where we can then find that. Here we see that there is a message saying urgent about a trip. I'm going to star that message because it's very important that I follow up on that message. However, I am going to follow up later, so I will add it to my action emails. That means that this one is now in my starred folder. I'm going to do the same for this email about next week's planning. So I'm going to click on that star. I now have two starred messages and all the other messages do not have that label attached to it. So on the left hand side, now I can open just those starred messages. Here you can see there is a starred folder. I can click on that and I only see my starred messages. Action those emails, do what I need to do and then simply tap that star another time. This star is now removed and that means that now in this folder, that email is also removed. It is still there in my inbox, but no longer in my starred folder. And that's the main way that you can use starring messages. Now, something that I love using and not many people are aware of is the additional stars you have available within Gmail. Now, in order to activate this, you're going to have to open up your settings first. So in the top right corner, we're going to click on that cogwheel and then we're going to select see all settings. Here we're going to scroll down a little bit and then you'll see that we have the option to find additional stars. Here you can see we can either manually select the stars that we would like to use. So I would like to use this exclamation mark as well. I'm going to drag it up. So now I have a star and an exclamation mark available or I can also select any of these other stars. This is great for differentiating your different messages. Let's go back to our inbox now, but before we do that, we always have to save our settings. Let's go to the bottom and click on save changes. We are now in the inbox. You can see I have that star. Now in order to get access to that second star that we've just added, we're simply going to click on the star and then click it one more time. This is now the second star. If you've added three stars, then you can go through all three, four, five, or all the available stars. When I go into my start folder, these will also show up. So any of these star labels, they will show up in your start folder. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, go down into the comment section, ask your questions and leave your feedback on our series. I hope you've enjoyed this. Now for even more tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer, click on the suggested video at the top or click on that playlist down below. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.